So we've got this robot called uh, You Got. Actually, it's a robotic kit that is probably going to be one of the most interesting robotic kit that is going to be released uh, this year. And this is still due to be launched on Kickstarter campaign. As you can see, this is the pre-launch page. But before we get into this, I would like to thank two of my special uh, members of my channel. Uh, first person is called Amy Tran and the second person is called uh, Rabin Fahed. So if I go to uh, Amy Tran, uh, Amy hasn't uploaded any video yet, but I'm really grateful that you are a member of my channel. Also, if we go to Rabin uh, Fahed, um, he actually done quite a very interesting uh, videos actually. I've been watching uh, all of them and it's really cool. So please do check it out. So thank you very much for being a member of my channel. And it's very unique to actually have someone being a member of my channel. Anyway, so um, just going back to the uh, UB Tech uh, you got. Uh, UB Tech, I am actually familiar with the company. Uh, they have actually produced this brilliant robot called UB Tech Alpha One and it does this, all these sort of um, very magical movements and performance and so on. So um, if we actually go to Ubitech Robotic uh, Corps Limited, it's a big robotic company and uh, more I actually study them, it's just amazing. So if we go to the Humanoids page, we got the Walker, Walker X and Panda Robot as well. That's pretty cool. And on the commercial side, we got the Delivery Robots cleaning robots, smart service robots, and disinfection robots. I do know this disinfection robots are used for hospital by using uh, UV light and so on. Um, healthcare robots, so this is smart chair. Wow, this is just amazing. So UV Tech actually provides so many uh, commercial, useful healthcare, uh, industrial robots. But not only that, we can actually I, I wasn't aware there was a robot called Alpha Mini uh, or Alpha 1E. So this could be quite a tempting one actually. I might buy one depending on the availability and the price as well. Anyhow, let's go back to the um, you got uh, main, sorry, pre-launch page. Um, and you can see there's so many different kinds of robots that it can be transformed. Um, based on my understanding, it has this main body that it actually acts like a brain and you just add the components. And the one that I'm really interested in is that this left hand side that has actually has a camera and legs as well. So it looks like a walking robot, um, but also uh, the robot that looks like the Boston Dynamics uh, robot and there these all these are very interesting indeed but it could also become a drone now I actually have a drone license in UK but I believe there's a certain weight limit that you can fly on I think this uh, drone is going to exceed that weight limit in other words you're not going to be able to fly it everywhere um, unless it's actually uh, less than a certain kilogram. Um, it could also actually become a boat as well. That's really cool. Uh, so if we were to scroll down, these are the varieties and um, basically you got so many different choices. Um, so these are the names of the robots and uh, they got the visual tag recognition. As you can see from the, um, if we look at the self-balancing car, uh, on the left-hand side, you can see the camera, but this, I believe, is the uh, distance sensing uh, sensor. <laughs> uh, so that's why um, we've got two different kinds of eyes on that balancing robot. First person view synced with the app, uh, posture recognition, wow, and pedestrian motion tracking as well. And this works with chat gpt that's really really interesting indeed um, so it actually has speech recognition as well so it pretty much has all the latest um, domestic or commercial robot function uh, that we are expecting modular design fast assembly graph graphical python programming as well and high speed control and online community as well which is very important so that you can share and also download other experts um, creativity as well. So basically going back to the self-balancing robot, the GPU is um, G522EE, which I'm not familiar with. CPU is actually the quad-core Cortex-A55. Really impressive indeed, isn't it? And um, 
we got the camera module and TOF modules, the one that I was actually um, explaining early on, which is the distance sensing and so on. So this is gonna be very, very exciting people. So it's not like buying one of this whole kit is basically equivalent to buying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different kind of robotics or drone or boats and etc. So um, I've been told that it's going to be a very good value. So I'm really looking forward to it. But let's actually check out the actual video that is, has been uploaded on YouTube, shall we? So here it goes. Meet you got a versatile AI robot. That's a quite a big box actually kind of like Lego-ish. Featuring a unique modular design and it's easy to assemble. You can build the quadruped robot in two minutes. Yeah, that looks pretty straightforward-ish. Awaken it with just one click on the app and it's capable of 360 degrees far field audio recognition. Oh, that's really impressive. By replacing a few parts, you can transform it into an engineer vehicle. Pick up a bone easily and play with your dog with your gun. <laughs> That'll be quite cool. So it doesn't look as big as I thought it was going to be. So it's going to be like that size. I'm pretty sure a company was asking whether I'll be interested to review that sort of type of robot as well. Oh yeah, yeah. So first person view and I guess facial recognition as well. You got knows you and who to play with. That's very good. Invite your loved ones to explore with you got. From Python to graphical yep, programming. programming, both adults and children. I mean to that with. You, those units AI assembly looks so cool. I love the color, the combination of orange and gray, dark gray. No problem. Here's the transport. I don't like doing that. It's going to scratch the plastic. Drive over gravel. Climbing mountains and crossing puddles. Ooh, waterproof. So transforming car. And more fun. Explore the future of robotic with Spider you. robot. That is so cool. Yep. <laughs> it's actually dancing to the music as well. That is even cooler as well with all the LED yeah, so the LED is actually coming from the main body, isn't it? So that was pretty impressive indeed. So I have to say, um, I would first like to know how much it's going to be. I reckon the uh, crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter is going to have different kind of options. I guess the cheapest one is going to be this self-balancing robot here. Um, so as long as you buy the main body, I reckon it could be something like 300 to 400 US dollars maybe and the rest of the components I'm not really sure how much it's going to be I hope it's going to be around 600 US dollars altogether or maybe 800 US dollars maximum I think that would be a good price but it could be more or less who knows but um, it's not available on Kickstarter we don't know yet how much it's going to be but I'm very excited about this You Got robot from a company called uh, UB Tech, very well-known company, a big firm actually, serious business on robotics. And I'm also very excited uh, to figure out what this Alpha Mini robot is about as well. But anyhow, I hope this video sort of builds up the excitement about this upcoming release of You Got uh, Robotic Kit. If you want to comment below, give me further information of what you got or if you want me to find out something that, because I'm actually uh, one of the members of the VIP group for uh, you got uh, UB Tech uh, page. So yeah, by all means, please do comment below. But once again, thank you very much overall to my two uh, members of my uh, YouTube channel. I, I didn't know uh, until recently there was actually members on my channel. So thank you very much for that. But overall, thank you UB Tech for uh, who are about to release this You Got robotic kit as well. I really look forward to it. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJB Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.